Today we're going to be tackling the 2015 January Silver Question, Stampede. So in this question, what's basically going to be happening is Farmer John has a ton of cows who are running in a race. When they run, they're going to try and reach the finish line, which is at point zero. Farmer John is looking at this finish line, and what ends up happening is if multiple cows cross at the same time or overlap, Farmer John is only able to see the one that's closest to him. So what happens is he ends up not seeing some cows. When we read an input, we're going to have our x, y, and r, which are basically going to be the starting point and their speed. At the end, we're going to output the number of cows that Farmer John can see. So let's get on to solving the question. Okay, so the way we're going to solve this is actually going to be through scheduling. So how this is going to work is we're going to have a bunch of cows here. And then once they reach the line, we're just going to basically assume that Farmer John, who's somewhere let's say over here, is going to see them. So what this means is if I have two cows here, Farmer John is only going to see this cow and not this cow. So with this in mind, we are going to basically code a standard scheduling question, and I'm going to show more of this in the code later. So there is one thing that we should look out for, and this is just that if multiple events happen at the same moment, we need to execute them at the same time. So what's going to happen is in our code, we're going to have our outside while loop, and this is just going to be looping through all of the events. The events can be a vector, by the way. And then we're going to have another while loop. So inside this while loop, we're going to have a current time. And then over here, we're going to have a second while loop. And this is just going to say while it is the current time. So while it is currently this time, we're going to execute all of the events that happen at this time and while we execute we're going to keep a set of all of the basically all of the cows currently able to be seen so in this moment we're going to be able to record this one this one's no longer here and then we're this one's no longer here so in this case the set would only contain this item but basically we're going to keep a set of the current cows that are on the line so since Farmer John can only see the top one, we're going to basically add one or we're going to add one to our total set. So we're going to have two sets. One is going to be our current. This is just going to be the current cows that Farmer John can see. And then we're going to have another set that's going to be our answer set. And what this is, is it's just going to be the set of all of the cows he's seen. And then at the end, we're just going to return the size of our answer set since that's just going to be the size and the number of cows he's already seen. So now we're going to move on to the code. We're going to read in the input. And because this is a scheduling question, we are going to use events. So I'm going to have a vector of pairs. And the first value is going to be the time. So the time it takes to reach the zero line. The second value is just going to be the ID. And it's going to be positive or negative, depending on whether it's the start or the end. So next, I'm just going to sort my events. And then I'm going to create my two main sets. So it is possible that Farmer John's going to basically end up seeing the same cow over multiple periods of times. So my answer set is just going to be a set of all of the cows that Farmer John sees. And then current set is going to be a set of all of the current cows who are in the range of sight of Farmer John. So I'm going to start with my while loop. I'm going to have i be the index of the current event I'm on. And like I mentioned earlier, since multiple events can happen at the same time, we're going to have a second while loop. And this while loop is just going to say while we are at this current time. So if multiple events happen at the same time, we can take care of them all together. So we're going to have a pair of ints, our current. The start is going to be the second. And we're going to say if this is positive. So remember here we have a positive negative. This basically means we need to insert. So this is going to be a cow reaching the line. And if it's not positive, it's going to be a cow leaving. So we're going to have else, we're going to erase. The next thing we're going to do is we are basically going to check the size of our current set. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, if our current set is not empty, that means that there are currently cows that Farmer John can see at this time period. We're going to insert into our answer set the begin. So what this basically means is we are going to insert the cow that Farmer John can currently see. 
Finally, we're just going to output the size of our answer set. So in the end, we're going to output the total number of cows that Farmer John has seen over his entire journey.